All right, um, all right, guys. Um, can we have a look at these questions? All right, these questions relate specifically to um, they relate specifically to um, sine rule. All right, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to show you how um, the sine rule may be used to find um, the length of the side and the size of an unknown angle. I'm going to show you how sine rule may be used to find the length of a side and the size of an unknown angle of a non right angle triangle. Everybody please look. Alright, the first thing you have to observe is that you've got to know that you're dealing with a non right angle triangle. It's very clear here that this is a non right angle triangle. This angle is acute, this angle is acute, this angle, this angle is also acute. Well, this and this is more than 90, so this one must be less than what, 90. So I'm dealing with a non right angle triangle. All right, what, are the what is the condition I have? I know the length of, sorry, the size of two angles. I know the size of what? Two angles, and I know the length of one side. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're given two angles and the length of one side, in order to find the length of a second side, that is a condition for applying sine rule. Ladies and gentlemen, you can write the sine rule like this. I, I don't think I stated it earlier. You can write the sine rule like this. Sine A. Sine A over A is equal to what? Sine B over B. Ah, this is what I didn't write. You could also write it like this. A over what? Sine A is equal to B, B over sine B. B. No, please note. Um, do we, no, in terms of which way I write it, depends on what I want to find. If I want to find an angle, I will use the, I write it the top way. If I want to find the length of a side, I will use the what, the bottom way. Are you with me? Fine. Now, I often tell students, whenever I use the sine rule, Whenever I use the sine rule, I always start out with what I want. Whenever I use the sine rule, I always start out with what I want. What do I want? I want to find x, don't it? So I'm going to put what? Write a over what? Sine a is equal to b over sine b. Capital A and capital B are angles. Common A and common B are the length of sides. So I want to find x, I'm going to put x first. x. Which angle is opposite to x? Talk to me. 70 degrees. So it's x over what? Sine 70 is equal to um, and what? 9 over which angle is opposite to 9? Over the sine of what? 46 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, this is sine rule. Now, what I want to find is x. What I want to find is x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by the sine of 70. To get rid of this, I'm going to multiply both sides by the sine of 70. So I'm going to have sine 70 times x over sine 70 is equal to what? Um, is equal to 9 over sine 46 times the sine of what? 70. And that, why did I do that? To get rid of this. So that all, the only thing I have left over here is what? X. So X is equal to 9, nine sine 70 over the sine of 46 degrees. Put this in the calculator and press equal. 9 sine 70 Divide by sine 46. Sorry? Any number under the X. What are you asking? The sine, to all use the sine. Why is it Because the 70 is opposite from X. And I needed to get rid of sine 70 over here so that the only thing I have left is X. So I multiply both sides by sine 70. Sine 70 is down here, so, so that's why I multiply by sine 70. Because this cancels this. Put that in the calculator and press equal. Tell me what you got.
The answer is 11.8. The answer is 11.8 meters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the length of X, the length of X is 11.8 meters. All right, guys, be quiet, please. Be quiet, please. Let us have a look at the next question. Let us have a look at the next question. All right. Again, first of all, I'm dealing with a non right angle triangle. How do I know it's a non right angle triangle? First of all, it's an obtuse angle. So, therefore, this must be an obtuse angle triangle, which is a non right angle triangle. I know the length of what? Two sides and a non inclusive angle. I know the length of what? Two sides and a non inclusive angle. The angle here would have been the inclusive angle. These two angles are non inclusive angle. This is what I said to you earlier. When I, whenever I use sine rule, I always start out with what I want. What I want is theta. So I'm going to start out by saying sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Why did I start off with side A? I started off with side A because what I want to find is an angle. So I'm going to have the sign of theta. Which side is opposite from theta? Over 6.5 is equal to the sign of 120. Which side is opposite? Over 10. Ladies and gentlemen, my objective is to find theta. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm, the only thing I need over here is say is sine theta. I need to get rid of the 6.5. To get rid of the 6.5, I'm going to multiply both sides by 6.5. So if I do that, this is going to go, don't it? So I have what? Sine theta. But I'm to the 6.5, it gone, don't it? Because I'm multiplying both sides by 6.5 is equal to 6.5 times sine 120 over 10. Therefore, sine theta is equal to, put this in a calculator and give me an answer to three decimal places. Put this in a calculator, give me an answer to three decimal places. Come on, come on. Put this in the calculator, give me an answer to three decimal places. 0 0.563. 3. What comes after the 3? 9. 9. No, 2 9. 2 9. So it's what? 0 0.563. Stay with me. Focus. Ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, if I know the sign of an angle, to find the angle, I must use sine inverse. If I know the sign of an angle, to find the angle, I must use sine inverse. It means that theta is equal to sine inverse 0 0.563. Therefore, theta is equal to, put this in the calculator and press default. You all remember how to do it? It's supposed to press what? Shift, then sine, then what? 0 0.56, then press equal. What do you get? 34 point? 5, 5, so it's 34 point? 1, 6. 2, 6. So it's 34.3. This is 34.3. Ladies and gentlemen, the angle is 34.3 degrees. This angle is 34.3 degrees. Alright, so I just did two. I want you to do the next two very quickly. 